Hi, my name is William Higgins and welcome to my review of D-Link's BoxyBox. This is the main interface for BoxyBox and as you can see very large icons. There is some content at the bottom that is I believe featured content which I guess editors at Boxy are always looking for videos and interesting stuff. So you do get a little bit of uh, featured content, which I actually like. I found some pretty cool videos uh, here. There is a friends section where you log with log in with Facebook or Twitter, and it will pull out any videos people have shared. So it's a really easy and neat way to interact with what your friends are sharing. So the social aspect of this device you're going to see a lot uh, within this uh, demonstration. So I'm going to go back to the home screen. Uh, the next is a watch later queue and this is also really useful. You can take content that you have that you want to just sort of log for watching later but there's also a really neat integration with the internet, different devices, uh, your computer. So when you're browsing the internet you can send a specific uh, video, if you will, to Boxy. So you link your account. And so if I'm perusing through uh, my mail or something and somebody, I found a web page that has a really interesting video, but you know, I don't really want to watch it now or I'm at work. I can send it to Boxy and watch it later. So in this one, if I just click it, I have some options here. I can look at the info. I can uh, mark it as watched. I can also share it, which I'll show you in a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and play this video just to give you an idea how that integration works. It will go out to the internet. As you can see, it's pulling up the YouTube page. But then Boxy sort of overlays that and brings the video up to the forefront and really provides a true TV viewing experience with that web video. And it's never looked any better. This is an HD video, obviously, so the, so the content looks really great on a large TV. So it's a really neat feature. And as you can see from the bottom, it does appear that ads still show up on some of these videos uh, like they would online, and there are ways to uh, cancel that. Next, we're going to move on to TV shows. Now, TV shows and movie videos, uh, for the most part, the way I have it hooked up is that I actually have my boxy uh, looking at some folders on my network on my PC. So I already have some shows that are in a file format and just basically pointed Boxy to that and this is how it interprets the file structure. It presents it in a very um, very brow TV, TV viewing friendly uh, interface. The shows are listed. I have Johnny Quest, the old uh, cartoon from Hanna-Barbera and also one of my favorite uh, British comedies is the IT crowd. And so if I drill down on the IT crowd, you can see that I actually have multiple seasons and the left hand pane is arranged by season with the specific episodes also giving me a little preview image and giving me data and giving me information about the show. Um, these, as I said, this is not coming from the internet. These are shows that I already have that I have either purchased or downloaded or and I have arranged on, on a network drive. I'm not using a disk or anything. And so this is a, a much better way of interacting with this than either on my PC. Boxy really provides all of the, the data and information about the episode, the show that you would expect from really a, a network TV or, or something to that effect. Uh, or your cable system in, in, in your guide. So a really neat implementation of this.